in this question we have to determine uh, the phase by which i2 leads i1 now i2 and i1 is given they are both uh, sinusoids in fact they are cos functions okay now we have to determine what is the phase by which i1 uh, i2 leads i1 now uh, i1 is given as uh, 120 cos 100 pi t plus 60 degrees okay i2 is also a cos function but if you observe uh, keenly there is a negative sign so what we need to do is we have to uh, eliminate this negative sign now this negative sign comes into picture whenever there is a phase shift of 180 degrees 180 degree means okay the, it is in phase opposition so i can write i2 as 20 cos 100 pi t plus 100 degrees plus 180 degrees okay you can even write minus 180 degrees no problem okay so i2 will is equal to 20 cos 100 pi t plus 280 degrees now i1 is given as 120 cos 100 pi t plus 60 degrees which means i2 leads i1 by 220 degrees okay 220 degrees now 220 degrees is also equal to minus 140 degrees right so 220 or minus 140 degrees which means if you measure the phase okay in the anti clockwise direction you get plus 220 if you measure it in the clockwise direction you will get minus 140 both are the same since direction does not matter here so it is either 220 or 140 hence the correct option is c so if you take uh, minus 180 for the negative sign uh, you will land with minus 140 which again is equal to 220 degrees so either way you will get the same solution